Worldwide, there are about 70 million deaf people using a sign language as their first language. Sign languages are a fundamental part of deaf culture and a primary form of communication for many people. However, many existing interfaces and intelligent technologies do not support sign language users. If we were able to better model sign languages using machine learning, there are a vast array of interactions that we could unlock. The primary barrier to building intelligent agents and systems that work for sign language users is a lack of appropriate data. We just don't have enough data to build models that are good enough for real world deployments. In this project, we sought to help address this lack of data while also providing direct benefits to the signing community who are often underserved. To do this, we decided to build a data collecting game. We had three main criteria for our game. First, we wanted to collect recordings of signs appropriate for training ML models. Second, we wanted to collect labels for those recordings. And third, to provide the user with non-monetary benefits. After prototyping a variety of games, we landed on an ASL version of traditional Battleship. Here is a short demo. The game is played by two players, each on their own phone. The game begins with each player placing their ships on the board through drag and drop. Next, the two players take turns guessing where their opponent hid their ships by executing signs that correspond to square labels. This is the screen that shows both players' boards at once, the player's own board on the bottom, and their opponent's board on top. Let's see how player one would make a guess. First, they view the board and decide where to attack. When ready, they click record and record the sign that corresponds to the chosen square. If they're satisfied, they click submit. If not, they also have the option to re-record. Then they're back on the main screen, which shows both players' boards waiting for their opponent to respond. Now let's take a look at player two receiving player one's attack. Player two sees the signed video recorded by player one. Their job is to match the video to an item on the grid, thereby providing a label. If they don't see a match, they can also ask player one to re-sign their attack. Player two matches the video to pretty and returns to the main board. Now pretty on player two's board is marked with an X to signify a missed attack. A hit would similarly be labeled with a red flame. Throughout the game, either player can turn on or off the English labels and can click on any square to view a model signer executing the corresponding sign. For example, to practice their vocabulary or prepare for recording. To evaluate the effectiveness of our design, we ran a remote user study. During the study, Participants used our game. They also used a control app for recording and labeling videos and answered some questions about their experience. We had 20 participants, 10 deaf or hard of hearing, and 10 hearing. We collected 657 videos total and 659 labels. We wanted our videos to be useful for training recognition models which involved two main criteria. First, that the video contain a single recognizable sign, and second, that the video approximately contains the same sign as the model. We had two expert reviewers evaluate all of our videos along these and some additional criteria. Overall, we found 98% of our collected videos to meet these criteria. For evaluating label quality, we had just one criteria, that the participant label matches the true label. We had an expert labeler provide true labels for our game, and the videos we used in the control app came pre-labeled. And overall, we found that 100% of the labels that we collected met these criteria. This result, coupled with our result on recording quality, suggests that a crowd of signers and even Non-fluent students may be able to serve as highly accurate labelers and recording contributors given the right task. We also collected some participant feedback. Overall, the vast majority of participants preferred our game to the control app. They were also willing to contribute recordings to help improve sign language technologies and wanted to be notified of a future release of the game. We did find a trade-off between enjoyment and time as well, um, as our game took longer to play, but generally was more enjoyable. Future work includes collecting continuous signing 
resolving tension between freeform signing and curated content, running longer term deployments, and developing other data collecting games and resources. Thank you.